Christopher Nolan's debut into filmmaking begins with the following. So without further ado, let's get into the mood of his new first noir film. Hello everyone, I hope you had a cinematastic day. I'm Josh, this is Simply Cinema, and before we get into my thoughts over the following, I'd love to hear what you thought of his Christopher Nolan's first film. Down in comments below, have you seen it yet? Have you how do you think it compares to the rest of the film? And I'm going to be reviewing all of Christopher Nolan's films from the earliest to the most recent with Tenet. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to like this video if you enjoy it. And without further ado, let's begin. A young writer living in London follows people around hoping to use those people as characters in his novels. But soon that becomes an obsession and he goes farther than he has intended it. Starting off with the positive, this film is kind of very simplistic and generic in sort of a good way, not so good ways in, as I'll discuss later. But it has an interesting narrative that is set in this black and white setting. It's set in this older times sort of. And it's just this author wanting to create characters by following people, studying people, trying to really get perspective on what characters he wants to create inside his novel. And it's just really interesting following him around um, as he tries to create these characters and observe. But of course, he goes into the obsessive mode following specific people more than once, which is going against his normal rule. And it comes into this crime thriller sort of movie that I don't want to spoil too much about, but that goes and becomes involved with certain people that are part of this certain plot. And it becomes so much more interesting as it goes along because it has a couple twists, mostly more towards the end, that I just really didn't expect. It felt very generic story. And it ends up becoming something very surprising in its narrative, what it sort of identifies. And as a Nolan film, I love how it, there's one point in the movie where there's a Batman signal on a door, on one of the doors that they go to. And it becomes hilarious, the fact that so many years later, Christopher Nolan has his own Batman films. And this was just the first film that he went into. And another thing about this film is basically none of the characters have any names. Like especially if you look on Google or just in general looking at the cast list who their characters are. There's really not much names. It's just very basic characters saying a description of their title but without saying a name. And it's becomes... It's something where you remember the characters for what sort of character they are, but you're, and it's sort of really good in that sort of fashion where I still remember all the characters and their roles in the movie, yet you don't even have to deal with remembering a character's name. I just really like the natural setting it throws us in, makes it feel more real worldly, down to earth. And there's not as much of a music score thrown into this, which is very, makes it add to the naturalness of this film, making it not feel like they're trying to force the emotions of what you should be feeling upon this film. It just goes off of almost just a natural setting, having just the characters and the dialogue speak for the emotions in itself and that's what I really just enjoy about this film. But moving on to the negatives, like I said, this film is feeling very generic for most of the film and of course as it goes into the plot twist, it becomes something a little bit more but it's still very grounded in what it's trying to be and it works in that sense as well but it still does drag on a little bit to where you're not exactly sure where this film is really going and so for most of the film you're not entirely sure what you're wanting to follow what you're wanting to get out of this film which becomes a bigger surprise when you do finally get to that point of understanding what the purpose of this film 
was really going to be. It's still a very good film overall, but it still loses some of its gravitas in engaging myself into the film. Well, it's a really great debut for Nolan as his first film, and I have to rate it simply 7.8 out of 10, but those are just my personal thoughts on the following. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next review over Memento and the following movies from Christopher Nolan's director filmography. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, and I'll be back for more movie reviews, rankings, and more.